Hello everybody and welcome to part number four of Norland and I must start with issuing an apology for what happened with the audio in the last episode. I really have no idea how I missed it. Um, I made a change in OBS previously to do with uh, with some kind of recording or something I was doing um, and unfortunately I forgot to change it back and just yeah just didn't twig it at all so massive apologies hopefully the video came out okay with the background music that's uh, that i used i effectively just ran the game in pause mode like we are now and recorded the sounds and then used those in the background for the episode so hopefully it was okay um and yeah we've uh things are progressing along now i still didn't and when i was going back through things i still didn't uh oh no it's done it has been done there is now prison warden Okay, I was about to say I I hadn't worked out how to do that, but we do actually have a a prison warden. Walk work dot warden. These characters who are primarily devoted to Mother Sophia, anyone can become a fanatic. So if they're a fanatic, does that mean they are a uh, fanatics of a constant positive thought and also derive pleasure from pain? Considering it means a communion with Mother Sophia. Fanatics can initiate an uprising if they remain unhappy. They can also be utilized by the bishop. Peasant fanatics will be willing to enlist in your army if the king receives a blessing. Fanatics will be greatly distressed if they cannot participate in the morning service. So it's important to ensure an adequate number of temples. Suffer twice as much from sins and also, was that, strongly dislike agnostics. Uh, to regulate the number of fanatics, conduct, conduct sermons in your temples. Right, this isn't actually built yet. Um, we need to get the other the other wood finished as quick as we possibly can. As people move things around. We do maybe want to get a couple of warehouses. That was one thing I said in the last one, didn't I? That um, a, a warehouse or two would not be the worst idea. Just to, just to try and speed up the moving around of, of, of goods. Uh, so a warehouse up there. Uh, we can probably put one here as well, I think. So we'll do that. Let's build ourselves a little stone road like so. There we go. Uh, of course, we welcomed into the world of Bobette 2, Bobette the second. Bob the second is also doing good, some good learning. We've also, of course, got... Uh, where has she gone? Is she already there? Oh, she obviously, I don't think she's left. If I zoom out, she's probably still over here somewhere. Ah, oh, here comes the Holy Caravan. They're on their way back. Oh, has she now just left? Bobette 2 made Bobette look like a fool. Is Bobette still here? Oh, she is. I'm sure at the last, the end of the last episode, I told her to go over here. Oh, yeah, she's going to the envoys visit. So, is there a reason you're not... Is it too late in the day? What time is it? Oh, it's evening, so I guess maybe that's what it is. As they all come over for some... Some praying, all of the royal family go to the front. But this should help. This should really help. Average mood is now at 53, so it is massively, uh, massively helping. We've got 20 people now. Any more, and we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to build another dormitory. Got 18 of that, so they should now be able to finish tomorrow once they go back to work they should be able to finish that temple off which is good we can start holding sermons and all that kind of stuff okay so if we click on people now then yeah see their pet their piety needs are still really low praying at the altar may suffice at first but does not fully satisfy the needs so the value will slowly decrease until you build a temple right so this is only a stop gap measure effectively is what they're saying until we get that temple completed. As, they, as they're all in there munching away, drinking on their wine in their, in their royal place and all the presents outside. Right, do we do some 
some trading with our with our man here. Okay. What books have you got for me today? Trade Volume 3. Mace Stun. The Art of Flirting. Okay. Persuasion, Flavor for Whale, Fighting Drought, Seed Planting and Soil Treatment Methods that Eliminate Crop Less During Droughts. Okay. Crop Loss. Sorry. Seed Planting and Soil Treatment Methods that Eliminate Crop Loss During Droughts. Increase the quantity of resources produced in a building by 20%. That could be useful. Effective preaches that could also be useful. I might buy, I might buy that one. We, it's going to cost us two hundred and sixty-five. Now, of course, we can't uh, trade the wood that we did before, and we also don't have any flour anymore. Holy shit! We are not producing anywhere near enough of anything, are we? I and mean, I can do a bit of this just to um, try and bring the the monies down that I'm paying. So we're producing a reasonable amount of that. So have some of that. Okay, there we go. Right, Bob is now trade level 7, which means he's going to get better prices as things go on now. He's back in the library studying. Even at half past 10 at night, he goes straight back in there and he's finishing off. He might even get that done, you know. One interesting thing as well is that obviously it's 11 o'clock now. People are all still up. I, do we have... Have I missed the part where we have like a... Where you can almost like set the... Uh, the tasks of the day. You know, like what time they work, what time they have like free time. A bit like you get with games like Prison Architect. I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do at all. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, we are... We've got 38 in our inventory, apparently. Resources spent, yeah. Produce them throughout the day from tribute from your... Tribute from your vassals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Well done, Bob. He's got uh, hop field and beer is now completed. So we better get our hop field off and running quickly. As they all finally, finally go to bed. Bobette has now left the province. She is on her way to go and hopefully improve relations with the people of Windpeak. Even though they are being attacked right now. I think they're at war with Starstream over here. And the result, the envoy has completed the task. As a result, the attitude of Tutmosil towards your king has increased by 18. It was a success. Good job. Oh, she's so good. Bobette, what an absolute hero. So, what, where we stand now? So, we're at 28. So, now, now they can buy stuff from us. Excellent. So, the relationship there is at a good stage. So what are the, does it say what these are producing each day? The harvest will be gathered the day after tomorrow. All oh, right, is it just because we haven't actually gathered anything? It takes a few. It's just, yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, if we go back to resources, does it say in here? Harvest is collected every day. Ah, the hot field is every three days and the rise every three days as well. <clears throat> and if it hasn't rained for a long time, it may perish. Every 10 days, it will require fertilizing by burning 40 wood so that was a thing i said in the last episode when i was talking about the amount of wood that we had but i was wondering whether or not um 
the wood is used for anything else other than just building there you go so it's used to fertilize the fields as well so we need to be a little bit careful with that we also it would be amazing if we could find a way I don't know whether or not it's a thing in this game as to where we can uh, replant the trees that we are felling because sooner or later we are going to run out the herbalist I think is not going to be it Hmm, okay. Right, well, Bob, uh, for the time being at least, he is pretty good. What, what, why doesn't he like Edwin from Tr Edwin from Treewood? Is that the one that's next to us? Yeah, they were the people that I sort of suggested we might do something about. Uh, there are two main types of states, vassal kingdoms, largest of the free cities. In both cases, there was a head of state and dependent provinces that trade independence for protection. In not, uh, yes, that's fine. Vassal Kingdoms is the crown sign. United by the force of the king, this aggressive action is not very favoured by the matriarch. Vassals pay tribute in gold and lose their right to a foreign policy. The suzerain, suzerain is obliged to protect their vassals. These kingdoms can expand rapidly by directly conquering their neighbours. Alliance of the Free Cities, which is the wing sign, which we are obviously part of, they expand quite simply. It requires having good relations with the head of the alliance. All allied cities are obliged to send an army to defend other members of the alliance. Members of the alliance, including its leader, cannot forcibly annex anyone. There are no trade restrictions within the alliance, and the head of the alliance receives a discount when trading with the other members. It's weird, isn't it? Because I don't have the wing symbol above. But I'm 99% certain we were members of said alliance so today tomorrow they will harvest the crops that one obviously isn't built yet have we finished oh we have now finished the temple here we go we have a priest who is our priest is it you no you're a farmer where is our priest but this is good though a sermon a point to a sermon of faith a sermon of doubt I'm not sure what those two things mean and maybe it's just people are having doubts and stuff maybe that's just a way of just reducing the doubts and that one is just increasing the faith so if we were to do ah look we can have people we can have Bobette do a sermon her persuasion is level eight chance of regular believer becoming a fanatic and an agnostic becoming a regular believer is 20% I do a sermon of doubt. Chance of fanatic becoming a regular believer and a believer becoming a fanatic is twenty percent. I'm sure. Ah, there's our priest. Well, hopefully this is going to increase the mood no end. So if we look at their, their yeah, their, their party needs are now going up. Everybody should be happy. Okay. So what's going to be interesting is, outside of the fact that we need to get this built and we don't have nearly enough wood to do it. Tomorrow they'll harvest crop. It doesn't say... doesn't say how much we're going to produce. Which is irritating. Uh, the warehouse is right there. That hasn't been finished either. So we've got a lot going on and not many people to, to work. Yeah, maybe we do need another lumber mill, you know. What's that going to cost us, though, to build? 15 wood. Okay, we'll build that there and tell them to build that first. We do need more. We do need more wood. Bobette is unable to move. What the fuck has happened to Bobette? Oh, she's. I think she's passed out through lack of sleep. And look at look at look at Volosvet. What a guy. 
Putting, he's putting her back in bed. Bobette is absolutely shattered. And now needs a good sleep. Right, wood all of a sudden, hilariously, wood all of a sudden has become a major problem. And I don't really know, outside of getting that lumberjack in, what we can do about it, because I don't want to start buying loads of wood. Especially as we don't seem to have anywhere near enough resources to really be doing any training right now. Right, well, for the time being, we are completely and utterly... Um, yeah, we're kind of stuffed until we get more wood in. We are kind of at a, at a bit of a standstill here. Uh, when the Loving family considers your settlement big enough, they will send a bishop to you. Okay. Using the action button on the character menus, your lords can confess to the bishop to remove their sins as well as perform other religious actions. The, bidu the bishops can provoke a religious uprising if he quarrels with any of your lords. Be sure to please him. The matriarch places great weight on your local bishop's opinion about your king. If the bishop dies an unnatural death, your relations with the matriarch will deteriorate by kill bishop penalty. <laughs> okay. Right. He's coming to drink with us. So he, is he, does he now live with us? I'm, I'm assuming he does. He has a very bad relationship with all of us because well, he's Tanayan, isn't he? So he doesn't really. And Bobette has uh, has passed out again. And whose turn? Whose turn is it to carry away this time? It's Pataxup. <laughs> Sounds about right. And the bishop's first job of the day is to come and drink beer. Of which there is none to drink, so apologies. Unless there happens to be any in the Oh no, no, there's 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 none. There's one beer in the in the hall. So we've got one homeless. Average mood has, has gone down to forty two. Why has it dropped down so much? Why has the average mood gone down? Frequent negative thoughts. Sophia has forsaken me. Mild fatigue. I'm not entirely sure. Average mood of our prisons is 21. And our worries is 20. Yeah, we don't... We're not... We're not producing enough goods right now. We are kind of at a bit of a standstill. I think we are going to need to... Uh, how much... So it's going to cost five wood to go to, to buy anything. We need to get some wood in to get things to get things moving. Uh, we'll get 30 wood in. Do we, do we even get a bit more? Do you know what? I know it's costing us a lot of money, but we need that wood. We need to get things moving. So we'll do that. Um, I think... Spend some time with uh, with Bobette when she's uh, actually able to do anything. What is she doing right now? She were you were you educating? I think you were. But F Finton just what runs in. He's like, no, we must talk now. Because he's pretty neutral about everything. It's actually the king that he dislikes the most. Religious disagreements, yeah. Okay, so there's <clears throat> there's going to be um, some problems potentially at some stage if we're not careful. They do spend an inordinate amount of time in that temple, don't they? Religious fanatics in the city is at 14%. Let's keep an eye on... Oh, look, Bobette in instantly much, much better. Finton is ready to go on a date with Bobette. Absolutely not. She's a taken woman. There's a, I smell a rat in our midst. Right, can you just like fucking go to sleep, please? Right, the mood is creeping back up again. Right, anyway, we've got, a load, we've got a load of wood in. So hopefully that means tomorrow the builders will be able to complete 
the lumber mill, which I've told them to do first, then they can finish off the um, the hop field. And then after that, we might be able to make some beer. I wonder if we're going to need maybe maybe the the, the thing we're doing is is that just having that one field is not enough. But I don't see where else. Oh, there's another area over here. I'm pretty sure that's where they have to be, isn't it? They get the most. Oh, you get the most fertility out of that area. Okay. Oh, now we go for our morning sermon. With our morning service. Everybody crammed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're crammed in here. <laughs> Everyone put your lighters in the air. Having a rave. This is just morning yoga, isn't it? They're just, it's just some kind of morning exercise routine. Everyone's piety needs are beginning to look considerably better than they were. Relations begin. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so the rightful ruler of the land, Silverhaven, the sacred text open on a page where people throw themselves at each other like wild beasts. And the cries of children are heard from the flames of fire. Holy Sophia warns you. From the, the availability of various goods from the Holy Caravan depends on the matriarch's attitude towards you. If the relations are unfriendly and fall below zero, the assault when available at the caravan will decrease. And if they fall below 25, it will stop coming to the city altogether. While the matriarch remains neutral, she will warn you about impending disasters that she learns about from her predictors. With friendly relations above 25, you can request a blessing from the bishop and the availability of goods will expand. The matriarch will send the inquisition to your city if relations drop below 100. Various factors influence relationships and you can check them by hovering your mouse over the St. Lucia cross in the upper left corner. Okay. Destroyed the bandit camp. Bishop's opinion is zero. A number of fanatics in your city is dropping down a bit, but our overall opinion is plus 16. That's that's okay at the moment. Excellent. Okay. A point manager will have you do that one. The warehouse provides characters with access to all the resources you have. Your first storage is located on the right of the hall, and the roads increase movement speed by 60%. Before work, all peasants will try to attend the morning service at the temple. After that, at 9 in the morning, workers in resource buildings like lumber mills will go directly from the temple to their workplaces, while workers in production buildings first go to the warehouse for resources for complex products. The farther they need to walk, the less time they'll have for work. Yep, all makes sense. Okay, Miritra handing out the, uh, barking out the orders. So we've now got two people working on bringing lumber. Uh, we need a warehouse manager. That can be Miritra as well. Uh, we do, I want this one to be built first. Oh, never mind, it's too late. They're building that one already. Okay, well, that one's done as well. We're at and do that one. And we're going to have Lana is going to deal with this one. But we don't have nearly enough wood, unfortunately, to be able to go and finish building that one. That is fine. Right, how is Bobette? Has she recovered somewhat? We, she has. Okay, good. That's fine. Um, yeah, they can they can do with that. That's absolutely fine. So if I look at like Bob, for example, he's an, he's an agnostic. I doubt the Mother Sphere truly created this cruel world. So if I then told him to he's not he's not sinned or anything like that. Okay, fine. But Go and spend some time with the bishop and improve your relationship, please. Oh, look here. Events of the World Day. Forest bandits hiring hiring bandits. Enchantment Lord is ready to leave. Events in the neighborhood of the capital of Gretmis has been successfully attacked by the army of enchantment. And Gretmis has left the alliance of cities led by Treewood. Interesting. Right, where is... So Bob and Finson are having a, uh, a good old chat over there. And it is increasing... There we go. Bob's opinion of me is friend. His opinion of Bob is still pretty shite. Because of his agnostic stance. 
and religious disagreements are still crazy problematic. The village chief of dark water has brought tribute. He will now deliver it to your warehouse. Lovely. 70 wood. Just what the doctor ordered. Does that mean you're bringing... They, brought, they must have brought some gold at some point as well. Uh, that's not gold. Oh, that is... That's rye, isn't it? That would be nice if they could... Uh, bring that in and whack that into one of the warehouses. Into the warehouse that goes. And all of a sudden we have 70 wood. Lovely old job. Now, yeah, there you go, look. And she looked, I don't know if you saw that. that was, I obviously had it on faster. She grabbed the wood from that warehouse. She didn't have to go all the way down to the city hall or that warehouse. She grabbed it from there, which sped that up quite nicely. Four migrants have arrived. We've now got four homeless migrants. We are going to need to deal with that, aren't we? It's good that it allows you to place it, even though you don't have enough stuff to actually make it. I like that. Okay, so did we... We produced 130... Okay, well, that's good news. So we do produce an awful lot of rye. Even though it's only three days, we produce quite a lot. That is good news. That produced 48. Not so bothered about that because we don't get through that quite as quickly. Yeah, but that is uh, that's huge. That is really, really big news. Because that means we can make plenty of, of moonshine. We've all, we can see the order we've got there. What is wrong with Meritra? Her sex need is, uh, has gone down quite significantly. Do we need to... I mean, it's, it's kind of something I've ignored. Obviously, Bob and Bobette, King and Queen, they kind of sort out their sort of emotional and sexual needs themselves. But Meritra and Lana don't. You know, they're, they're not... Uh, they're not with anybody. Her mood is really bad, isn't it? Mild loneliness. Maybe go and have uh, go and play dice with uh, with Bob. Try and bring your mood up a little bit. Right, sorting out sort out the eating first. That's fine. What's this? Bob starts performing. Yeah, play dice. Bobette's second to Bob, spreading rumours about Lana. Oh, a caravan man's here. Well, we're right at the moment. I don't think we need to worry about selling anything just for the moment. But another couple of days and we're going to be in trouble. So we definitely need to get this up and running and get that producing something. Right, Meritra, has that increased your, your social your social needs? She won a dice game. There we go. Rest is going up right. Her mood should now be improving. My warriors are deserting the city. Hmm. Oh, that's not ideal. I mean, I can't say as I massively blame them. We are really struggling, aren't we, to to keep the warriors happy. Average mood is fifty. The mood, the mood is better than it was. But if we can just give, if we can just start creating beer on a regular basis, we'll kind of we'll kind of be laughing because that seems to be a massive thing. Let's really uh, increase that. Do until we get fifty. So it doesn't actually require that much rye or hops to, to, to make, which is good. But of course, that's going to be every three days. So we, we make that now, and what we're on day seven. That ain't going to be done until day ten, at which point we're going to have to make a decision on Meritra, because your contract expires in three days. 
So we could grant you a title, but we don't have a good enough relationship, so we need to uh, to improve that. Your relationship currently with Bob is at plus 13. Have a wise conversation with uh, with Bob. Not available because Metro has a low opinion of Bob. Bob, Bob mocked me, right, okay. Does, does she sort herself out with that with that regard? Does she go off and find somebody to hook up with and satisfy the, the sex need? Outside of marriage, characters can bribe peasants for this purpose, which is considered a sin. So, just for example... Who's this? Lylond. No, we can't punish him. I can't, I can't make him do anything. Uh... So basically, these guys. Proposition. Here we go. The Lord, your peasant will, and the peasant will please fulfill their personal request. The peasant may give birth to a child who will be a bastard. A bastard. But only the proposition can come from Bob. So how then? I don't know how we, we deal with that. Part of me says that as a free lord, maybe I shouldn't care because in 10 days' time she'll disappear. And maybe it's because she's a free lord that I can't do any of those things. Maybe if I was to be able to give her a title, then I'll be ha I'll have more kind of options to do stuff in here. Right, they'll they'll go off and do some flesh wolf hunting to increase their relationship. How is your relationship with said man Bobby? Plus fifteen. So you will need to we'll need to work on that as well. But I think we've got an extra day. Oh, we've got a couple of days with you. So that's okay. It's always stuff going on. Always stuff going on. But hopefully we can get ourselves into a position where we can start effectively trading. But we're not producing enough of anything at the moment. To have trade but we're not far away finally i've got my eyes firmly set on that hop field and the rye field we'll go for their morning yoga session um you will get some excellent... Oh, we'll get some meat as a result of that. It's nice. Mutual positive thought after the hunt is strong and long-lasting. Additionally, after the flesh wolf is defeated, the hunters will have a deep conversation, but it's not always pleasant. So, Bob and Meritra, look. They are... Uh, Armoured up. Do we get to see them? So let's, let's follow them, see if they go and actually find a flesh wolf in the wild. Oh, here we go. Because previously, let me just pause. Previously, we've not seen this. Because any flesh wolf hunting he's done has been with another in another province. That's it. Smash that wolf to pieces. So fuck it. Is it a saber tooth wolf? Grounding a lot. Injury, slight cut, bruise, rib injury, cut, minor bruise. Facial injury. He's bleeding. How are we how are we doing here? No injuries so far. Oh, we do have now have one. We've got a minor bruise. That's okay. Oh dear. What's happened? His mace is just, his mace has been destroyed. <laughs> and now he's having to to beat the wolf off with his bare hands. This is quite the battle, and it's over. What, what did you end up with? A bruise and two minor bruises. That's fine. Pen level 5, pain threshold 50. That's fine. Right then, so... Yeah, have a nice, deep, meaningful conversation now. We're going to have to find ourselves another weapon. He smacked that wolf so hard with that mace <laughs> that the mace uh, oh, he's dis absolutely disintegrated. 
Oh dear, right, okay. So, successful hunt. Right, let's just check then. What is our relationship with... I always click on the wrong things here. Plus 42. There we go. Look at that. Much, much more... Uh, much, much, much better. So now... Grant a title. There we go. The king will grant a title to Miritra, making him a full-fledged member of the family, or her in this case. It will be necessary to pay a tax to the loving family to secure Miritra's rights to his lineage. Consequences, Miritra will receive a title and join Sparksville. 380 coins will be spent as a tax to the loving family, and the number of available titles will decrease by one. Okay, not going to do it just yet, but it gives us the option to do it now if we so wish. And you will now drag the wolf back, and we might get some, some meat out of it. Let's just watch. I'm curious to see what they do with this. They just dump it straight into the warehouse. Oh, it's going into the temple. He's putting it on the fire at the temple. And it's getting. I mean, what? What are we? Oh, no, okay, we did get some meat. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ, I didn't think we got any at all there. And the wolf is no more. Right, characters are drawn to each other in varying degrees of strength. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Willingness of the character to go on a date for sexual activity should be higher than 50. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's all fine. That's stuff that I uh, already knew. Right, here we go. Point manager. Lana, you'll be the manager of this one. Uh, we don't have any homeless because I'm assuming that's because they're living in the temple. We're we expecting five migrants I just saw today. Four. So as things stand then, nectar is sold. Okay, do we have a do we have a drug then? It sounds kind of it sounds kind of cool. Let's put, let's put a drug den down there. I don't actually know what a drug den is. Does it does it make the nectar? Is there something else that we need before the nectar can be uh, can be got for here? I mean, the word drug sort of suggests that it might be a uh, it might be a sin. Available for warriors and peasants. Production. It's nectar. Nectar is in here to be, to begin producing nectar. Study the technology. Right. And then you have to build an alchemy lab. So actually, that was kind of pointless. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll take that off. We don't need that for the moment. I'd far rather we had an extra person work in that field, to be brutally honest. The harvest will be gathered the day after tomorrow. Unemployed peasants can either leave your city or stay and turn to crime. Vagabonds will steal flour from warehouses, rob citizens on the streets, and even break into other peasants' homes. After a few days, they may become cutthroats. To combat crime, deploy guards to protect, build scaffolds to punish criminals, terrorize the population to inspire the obedience of fear. Uh, out of fear, sorry. Or simply prevent the peasants from being unhappy in the first place. Easier said than done. Anyway, um, I think we're going we're gonna to hold things there. Um, we have finally got our beer production on the go. We built the, I mean, the drug den obviously doesn't do anything. We've got a couple of warehouses down. And the temple has now been finished. So in the next episode, I think the, the, the trade deal hopefully will happen in the next episode. Because we'll be able to get that produced. We'll get that sorted. And then we'll go from there and hopefully try and start bringing in some money. We're not losing huge amounts of money right now. But obviously it's, it's still going down. We're going to need to buy another weapon at least for, for Bob to replace the disintegrated mace. Um, but yeah, I mean, things are, we're okay. I feel like we're treading water a little bit. Things are definitely not in the, um, they're not, they're not quite where I want them to be. A dangerous neighbor. Yeah, I know that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're getting, they're getting there. I think I, I can see light at the end of the tunnel, 
But equally, the darkness behind us is not too far away. So we do need to be a little bit careful. So, and we're going to have a decision back about Meritra at some point as well, aren't we? Because we've got to decide whether or not we grant them a title. Because of her sort of cultural faith or cultural religious beliefs, it will potentially be a problem. But then she has a really good relationship with, with these guys. So we could look to make her a lord and give her a title. I don't know what we'll do about Lana because your production, not production, your uh, management is really good and losing you would be a bit of a blow. So yeah, we're going to have decisions to make about those guys. So still lots going on, lots to come. Hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. And we'll see you all for part number five.